Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Feed your mind with good ideas. Feed your mind with good ideas. You know what? Just like we take in food with our mouths and it's digested in our stomach. We take in ideas with our minds and it's digested within really our spirit. And the thing is, it can affect you. Just like, for example, when you eat physical food, you eat some of that spicy stuff. Oh yeah, you know, you're gonna be hot. And those like, you know, those chilies and whatever. Shoes, you'd be like, yeah. But then if you eat something calmer, more smooth, more um, soothing, then you'll be like, yeah. You know how it goes. But it's the same thing with our minds. If we take in ideas that agitate us, we're gonna be agitated. Or that calm us down, we're gonna be calm. Whatever it is, or ideas that depress us, what's gonna happen? We see different things out here. See, understand something. We gotta feed our minds correctly. That, and that includes, that includes, that's on myriad levels because the thing with the mind is constantly taking in stuff anyway. You know, it's not like food. We can only spend so much time eating, but you know, your mind can take in anything. Like you got, I got jazz in the background. So it's taking in that. It's actually forming something within me. But what if I had some hardcore music on? You know, what if I had some hardcore, something hardcore on? That could affect me. Or you know you eat, or you listen to something maybe some classical type of music that can put you in a certain thing, and that's just music. Think about the news and how much on news and even in social media, you got some so many negative information coming out. You know, it's not a lot of stuff on what's positive coming out or what's positive that's happening. It's a lot of negative, and we take that in, and it affects us. It agitates, agitates us. It stresses us out, you know? So what we have to do, we have to feed our minds with good things, good ideas. Like with the news, yeah, it's important to know what's going on, but one of the things I do, when I see the negative stuff, I look for something positive. I look for positive ideas. And indeed, I try to, I try to keep my time around positive people with positive thoughts and positive actions, because that affects you too. That affects you too, because what they're saying, you're taking in. And you need to be very careful who you listen to. You need to be very careful who you listen to, who you allow, whose ideas you allow into your mind. That's very important, very important, because so many people get messed up, and if you really listen to them or pay attention, you find out, They've been thinking the wrong things. Because if you got somebody constantly saying, yeah, we got to beat up this group or do that, well, that's going to agitate you. If you got people constantly saying some stuff, oh, I'm depressed or something like that, you just sit and listen to them. You're like, wow. But it's the ideas. You need to, you need to listen to people who are trying to uplift you. You need to li listen to people um, not just people, but ideas and stuff that uh, may empowers you. You need to see the news that empowers you. Like I said, understand, you know, you still want to know what's going on, but you need to also balance that out. When you have the negative thoughts, you got to balance it out with a positive thought. This is very important because let's just be real. The biggest issue with many people almost all people really, isn't that so much where they live or their circumstances? Everything starts in the mind. If a person wants to change their life, they just need to change their mind. They need to change their thoughts. And they need to be influenced by positive thoughts. I want y'all to really think about that because a lot of people aren't. Now, I know some people will say, well, you still, you can have yourself and, you know, you don't need to listen to this. You got to believe in yourself. Okay, those are still thoughts. You still have to have good ideas then. You still have to have good ideas. Because no matter how, like, independent that you are, 
you know, yeah, you still affected by the outside, but then it still comes down to what type of ideas you have. Are you feeding yourself good ideas? Are you reading books that empower you? Just think about it. Are you reading books that empower you or books that make you feel a certain way, make you feel bad? All of these things are important. That's why I'm, I'm going to be real. That's why control of the media is so important. Because you have certain forces, hey, if they can control the media, they can control how you think, how you respond and everything. That's very, that's very key. But you can fight against whatever negative thing is put out by just filtering the ideas. Because I'm going to tell you what, here's something else that I do. Whenever I hear anything, good or bad, I question it. I question. I don't. I don't take it at face value, good or bad. I say, "Oh, that's interesting. Let me find out about it, or is that accurate?" You know. That's why even for the advice that I give on these channels, I say, "Go find out for yourself. Go, go check it out for yourself, because it's very important. Because that's one of the main things is you have to think, but you have to feed yourself with the right ideas to think about. That's very important." Indeed, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what, as I said earlier, it might be more, it's probably more important than even the food that you eat, feeding your mind. Indeed, the way you feed your mind actually impacts everything else, including what you choose to eat. Because you have many people, like, let me use that example, you have many people who eat healthier. You know, they might, you know, they might be vegan, vegetarian, whatever, eat certain foods. But they got to that point through the ideas that they received about those lifestyles. And if they benefited from that, those were good ideas. If they benefited, you know, that's the thing. You want to think, is this a benefit to me? Think, is the idea an asset or a liability? Is this idea bringing me closer to where I want to be in life? Or is it taking me further away? This is very important. Very, very important. So you, what you want to do is always feed your mind with good ideas. Okay? So that's all I have for now. I want everybody, of course, to keep rising and transforming. And think about that idea in itself. Anyway, peace and many blessings.